Hi and thank you for purchasing this template. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above, as well as Premiere Pro. So let's take a look at how to customize it. First download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up any project. Inside the project folder, you will find an After Effects version of the template, as well as the Premiere Pro version, so let's open up the AE version first. Inside the project, you will find the 00uChange folder, which contains all the editable elements and the 00 main composition. Let's start with the intro section, so please go to the Scenes folder and open up the 00 intro comp. This section has 5 scenes and there are 5 image and text placeholders and a logo placeholder. First, we need to import some files, so to do that, choose File, Import File, and choose your files. We'll import a few images, a background video, a logo file, and a presenter footage. Next, go to the Images folder and open up the compositions. Drag your images into the timeline and delete or turn off the sample layers. In the last scene, you can choose to have just a logo displayed or the logo and a background image or video underneath. Now let's add the logo as well. Double click on the logo composition and drag your logo into the timeline. You can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Please make sure your logo is in PNG, PSD or any other format with transparency. To change the text, go to the text folder, open up the text compositions and double click on any text layer to change the text. Now let's take a look at the main scenes and we'll choose Angle 14. To add your presenter, go to the Talent Containers and open up the corresponding composition. Bring your talent footage into the timeline.
Now let's add a background video as well. So please open up the screen images folder. And choose image angle 14. Next, let's take a look at the controls. You can choose when the camera zooms in and out by moving the control markers on the timeline. Next, let's move on to the lower thirds. We have included two lower thirds, but you can duplicate them if you need more. Just make sure you do that in the project panel like so. Select the lower third and choose Edit, Duplicate. So let's open it up. Double click on any text layer to change it. The logo will appear automatically. And next, let's take a look at the transitions. Select the transition and bring it into the main timeline. Finally, let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the main composition and choose Composition. Add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube. The default preset match source high bitrate will get you good results. You just need to click under the output file to set the destination path of your video and then click on the green play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at editing the Premiere Pro version of this template.